Well, got a few little problems uh, for a uh, for a support beam. You can see what he's running here, and even though it's a true cut, it's uh, definitely uh, the wrong way. Hello, it should be this way. And then you can see that he pieced it together with no support. And here, apparently, we have, whoops, rotting. And again, he pieced it there. And he ran another one. So, uh, there's nothing holding up this side of the roof. So, I am going to, uh, I don't know. Well, first of all, once I get all these cut off, I'm going to run a 2x6 right across all right and support it on both sides so i'll run a two by six carrier beam i'll double them up so they'll be double wide and i'll run that carrier beam right across and once i cut this off it'll be up there so i don't have to worry about it hanging down it'll be where it belongs but temporarily i want to try to figure out something to do with this uh now down below we had some rot but luckily enough it doesn't go into the um you know what I mean? So I put a piece of pressure treated there just to put a support up temporarily. So that's where we're at. All right. As you can see, the whole wall, except for this little corner that I got to cut out, but this whole thing is down all the way across. Now that's only there as a temp support. I just want to have something there to stabilize what's there. Um, talk about overkill. That's why the nails he used. Anyway, uh, tomorrow what I plan on doing is, uh, if it's nice, I want to get up on the roof because we got to finish that. I haven't finished that yet. Uh, if it's not too good out, well then I'm going to cut off all these get them out of the way, build a carrier beam, a support beam out of a couple of two by sixes. I have enough to do the whole run, one piece, so I'll just put two of them together. And uh, these will be out of the way, so it'll fit right up nice, right up into there, right up against this. All right, so I can tap into that for whatever use it may be good for. I'm going to cut this out because this is rotted and I'll add a piece in there uh, and then I'll run that all the way across. I'll support both sides and then I'll support in the center here with either two 2x4s two or one 4x4 four four. and uh, that'll take care of that center support but I have to chop all those off first which really shouldn't take long uh, if I wasn't beat. I mean, it's only like 3.30 right now. I can probably take those all off in a half an hour. It's just I'm a little on the beat side. So I've been hustling, as you can see that. A lot of this wood, um, like this stuff here, that's all good wood. I'm going to take that actually, uh, and, and because uh, it's not bad, if it hasn't got oil-based paint on it, uh, I am going to use it just to burn. Uh, to help in the winter time I have a what they call a half drum it's a half size of a 275 gallon oil drum it's like half the size of that and I have one of those that I got for 40 bucks brand new with a stand uh, so that's gonna be here tomorrow I could have got a brand new uh, 275 for 50 bucks, but the 275 is too big for what I want to use it for. Uh, I'm not going to be using it for fuel. I'm going to be using it for a furnace type thing, a fire, a uh, wood burner. Um, John, at uh, J, uh, whatever, I can't think, J Null, J whatever, uh, he built something that he used to heat his house. With the bricks surrounding it and such and i think that's a pretty good idea so i'm going to build one outside in the corner over there 
uh, and have one pumped into that corner, I got to remember to look through the lens because I'm looking at what I'm looking at, but the camera is all over the place. I'm going to build one in that corner, have a vent come in through that corner over there. Um, this way, it'll also help heat up back here because I got the furnace up front and the wood burner up front. The furnace would probably eventually, because it's, I have it on the floor because heat rises, it'll make it back here because it's an open space to come back. Uh, I don't know if the wood burner will bring it back enough or not. So to put that out there, I've got all the material except for the drum for 40 bucks that'll be here tomorrow. Um, so uh, I think it'll be worth doing if I get the time so but uh that's what we're doing all right and i figured out why i had these here in the double runs so uh that's because this is going to be on two separate breakers two separate circuits and two separate circuits one circuit so everything's going to have on its own separate circuit so to speak so that's how that's going to work um and i got another box to put in and i got the cord hanging down there if you can see it I don't know there it is so that's kind of where we're at eventually I'll get the window framed in but I just want to take care of anything that's going to give me problems uh, through the winter that I can't get to um, so meaning the roof you know out top uh, meaning the support here uh, because if anything happens you know in the winter time I don't want to have to be tearing this roof off because if I have to start tearing the roof off, who knows where I'm going to end up. So I want to take care of most of the structural stuff. Uh, like I say, this weekend, the roof, start the shingles. Um, I may cut in another window over here real quick. I don't know. Um, but at that point, uh, that's kind of where I'm at. The inside... You know, as far as I have all the material, the pegboard and, and the OSB board for the walls and everything, but see, I can do all that, you know, through the course of the winter. You know, um, if I don't get it done in time, I have all winter to do it. So, you know, I still have to insulate up there and things. I want to insulate up in the backside there, all right, you know, and, and a few places here and there. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to use that for storage and just put some ply up there or if I'm just going to block it off with some uh, OSB board and let it be dead space. I don't know yet. Um, I was actually thinking of possibly putting little cupboards up there. Um, you know, uh, like take OSB, cut like a uh, 12 by 16 you know, slot in it, build a cupboard in there with a door that I took off the OSB, you know, I don't know, because I can put little cupboards up there, or just build, now that's an idea, put a piece of OSB about 15, 16 inches back, all the way across, come off the top, come off the bottom flat with a new piece, and I can just use that for a little storage, and still it takes care of a lot of dead space behind it that I don't have to worry about. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Ah, sometimes just talking it out helps. But there we're at. The lights are just hanging. They're just plugged into a cord right now. But uh, we're getting there. This was a big deal. This, I'm glad that this is finally all open. You know, because now I can get an idea. All right. The actual size of the workspace that I'm going to have. Because I'm standing where the opening is uh, entering this workshop. So other than that support beam being there uh that's all open so that's a, that's a good size shop i gotta finish the floor down here all right and bring that in uh but uh, again that's indoor stuff i can do that anytime so that's where we're at we are done for the day so let me uh shut down some power go inside take a shower and then uh, play on the couch, download this thing, or upload, and uh, 
entertain you guys. Yeah, right. Like you need more entertainment on me working on my workshop. Yeah, sure you do. Listen, guys, I appreciate you uh, stopping by and leaving comments. I really do. Uh, yeah, it, it, uh, it means a lot. Uh, I, I've still started. I'm new. I don't do much. I don't do giveaways, but nor do I in, uh, partake of any. You know, I don't get involved with them. I don't, I don't enter for giveaways, and I don't do giveaways. You know, I mean, it's just one of those things, you know. Uh, maybe someday when I hit the 500 mark, I'll do something. Um, you know, I think I got like 300 or so uh, subs. Um, you know, I'm probably subbed out to four or 500. <laughs> I have no idea anymore. I know I sub 99% uh, of the ones that sub me, uh, especially the small ones. If somebody, you know, subs me and it's relatively small, you know, uh, you know, I'll definitely sub them back and support them. Uh, if somebody subs me that's got 100,000 or 50,000 or even 25,000, they really don't need mine, you know. But uh, if they're entertaining and I can learn or, or pick up something or enjoy watching, I'll sub them, you know. Uh, but even if somebody that's smaller you know, 100, 200, 300, uh, even if they're not really entertaining to me, but they subbed me, I will sub them back just for the support. So, but I appreciate it, guys. All right. And uh, the wife was using the tractor today. I got to get the other seat on there. I just haven't got around to it. All right. But, uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. So, all right, guys. I'm done just talking and mumbling on to talk. All right. Catch you later.